Hi, this is Jeremy from Rally Subaru. So I'm just going to show you a little bit about the iSight technology. First of all, uh, we're in a 2019 Subaru Legacy, but the iSight technology is pretty similar in all the vehicles. So the iSight technology comes up in this little area just here, and some of the vehicles have a display up here as well, where a secondary portion comes up. Now, I'm just going to press the button here to switch the iSight technology on. And it's also the cruise as well. So the iSight technology is on most of the time for the collision braking. So if something happens ahead of you, like an accident or something like that, this car is going to break. Okay. It'll also sometimes come up with obstacle if it sees something that's a little worrying ahead. Okay. So down here, you see this little car, right? Now, when you're in adaptive cruise control, another car will appear just in front. I'm going to show you that in a little, little later on. So there's also some buttons here. Now, these buttons change the distance between you and the car in front. Now, just have a look at that. You see some lines in front of that car. As I press these buttons here, down like that, those buttons, dis those bars disappear. As I press them up, they appear. And what they're doing is they're changing the distance between you and the car in front. Now, uh, you don't have to worry about changing those distances depending on how fast you're going. That's not a problem because it's also dictated by speed as well. So if you have it on the shortest distance like this, okay, if you're doing 30 kilometers now, the car in front of you is going to be a lot closer than if you're doing 115 kilometers per hour. So uh, you don't have to change that. But for Edmonton, where we have really bad weather in the winter, um, what I suggest is you have it on a shorter one in, in the um, in the summer, maybe one or two bars, and in the winter, longer, because you have you need a longer stopping distance. So that's how to change them with this one here, right? Okay, now this one is for lane drift. See the little signal that comes up there, the little car with the two lines, and that is if you're driving along and you start to lose concentration for any reason, and you start to drift outside the lines, this car will actually beep at you to remind you to drive back into the into the road or or and if you don't correct yourself it will actually guide you back inside as well so i'm going to show you a little demonstration of the eyesight technology and uh, as we drive along the road the eyesight is also done from uh, up here these two cameras that are in the front of the car now one thing about that, never ever clean the front of the lens. Those, lens are, those lenses are very delicate and you shouldn't clean them. If for any reason the, um, the eyesight says it's switching off, it's probably because the windshield is dirty on the outside and just use your windshield wipers to clean the window and it'll probably start working again. Okay, because the, the uh, sight of those cameras goes through where the windshield wiper works. So we're going to take a little drive down the road and I'm going to show you how that adaptive cruise control actually works. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out in front of traffic coming down, um, uh, well, going up Gateway Boulevard and I'm going to use the adaptive cruise control. So I'm going to, I'm going to put on cruise and then I'm actually going to put it into cruise. And I'm going to wait for a lot of cars so I can show you how it works uh, when traveling at slow speed, because we all understand what, well, maybe all understand what uh, adaptive cruise control does on the highway. If a car in front of you is driving um, uh, slower than you are, and your cruise, let's say, is set at 110, if that car slows down, you will slow down too. If that car speeds up, you will speed up as well. And so what people don't know is the adaptive cruise control actually works at slow speeds as well. So. When you're driving along, and if you're in a traffic jam, say on the Anthony Hende or something, and you and the cars are going, you know, 90 kilometers an hour, then 50, then 30, then 20, uh, what will happen is the the car will uh, the car will slow down and speed up. But what people don't really know is this works at one kilometer an hour. So virtually on these traffic jams, you don't have to put your foot on the brakes or the accelerator. It does it all for you. So I'm just pulling out behind a lot of traffic on Gateway Boulevard and I've got it in uh, adaptive cruise control and I'm going to make this quite a short distance and I'm going to set that adaptive cruise control at around 
about 60. Okay. Now, you'll notice that my feet are off the accelerator and they're off the brake. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not controlling the speed of the car. And now I'm set at 60 kilometers an hour, but the actual speed that I'm doing is 58. So the car is slowing me down because that car in front of me is actually driving slower than this one. And what I'm hoping is we come up to some traffic lights in a minute and this car will, will uh, brake without me actually having to brake. So a car just got out of the way of this one, so this one's going to speed up a little bit. Now, because that car is turning, that's not me braking. I've gone down to 24 km, 23 kilometers an hour. Now, there's no car in front of me, and we're coming up to red lights, so you have to do that yourself. Now, also with the, uh, with the um, cruise control on as well, you also have that um, uh, pre-collision braking. So if, if there's any obstacle on the road ahead of you, the car will warn you. But if, it, if, it, if you don't brake in time, it will actually brake for you as well. So that, that's one thing that actually works pretty well with the adaptive, with the eyesight technology. Also, um, when you're using the lane drift, you have to be going fast enough for the lane drift to actually work because it's, it's not designed for slow usage. So um, it's usually after about 30 or 40 kilometers an hour when it can actually see the lines down the road. That's when it will actually, if you do drift outside the lines, because that's really designed for highway or straight driving. So I'm, I'm just driving ahead here again and um, I can see that I've got a red light down here, which is pretty good. So I'm putting it on adaptive cruise control again. You'll notice in a moment that the car that I am following actually gets out of the way. Now, the adaptive cruise control is adaptive because it's watching the car in front of you. So if that car gets out of the way, you really should apply the brakes and take over driving. For demonstration purposes in this video, I'm going to let the car connect to the vehicle just in front of it so that I can show the car coming to a complete stop but normally you would take over driving at this point. Now that car is braking in front of me, and this car here as well, and this is the car braking, not me. My feet are not on the gas, and they're not on the accelerator. So they brake down to a complete stop, like that. Now the neat thing about it is, uh, after that you don't have to do anything. If that car in front of me then goes ahead, uh, and you don't notice it, the car will actually beep at you to remind you that it's, got, that it's gone ahead. And, uh, but otherwise, what you do is you can just press this button up, just here, this is called the resume button, just like you, when you're resuming after a traffic light on thing. So this button, push this button up, and the car will go back into adaptive cruise control again. So I'm gonna show you that after the lights turn green, as soon as they turn green. Now there are rough buttons, um, either on the side or up here, depending on which car. Now I press the button and the car goes back into adaptive cruise control. And again, my feet are not on the accelerator, not on the brake, but that car's quite a long distance in front of me. So this car is going to speed up to the 60 kilometers an hour in which I set it out. Now on here, you'll see that there is on occasions a white line that comes up here. That is because it's seeing the white line in the road for the lane drift, you see there. Now there's not a car on my side, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drift out a little bit here. And it's, you see it does lane departure, and that's because I went out of the lane, so it's telling me to go back into the lane. And now it's got two lanes on because I have white lines on either side. It'll disappear in a moment on that side. And that is the adaptive cruise control with the eyesight technology from Subaru. I hope that gave you some good information. If you need any more information, you can give me myself a call, Jeremy Ewan at 780 264 4938. I look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions. Thanks.